welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day in palette week where every single day for seven straight days I am posting some sort of palette themed content. I'm not exactly sure the order that these videos are going to go up. This might actually be the final day of palette week but I will have my palette playlist linked down below in case you're interested in checking out some other palette themed content. But today we are going to be talking about my current stash of unused palettes so far this year. I kind of like to update this every three months or so just to kind of keep a pulse on how many palettes are sitting in my collection unused. So I currently have 162 palettes in my eyeshadow palette collection and different than that earlier this year at the halfway mark i had 173 palettes in my eyeshadow collection i did a declutter but i'm kind of surprised that it went down by this much because i have definitely brought quite a few palettes into my collection as well i do currently have 57 of those eyeshadow palettes that are still sitting in my collection unused that i would like to try and get to before the end of the year so if you're interested in seeing which 57 palettes in my collection still sit unused stay tuned first if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content palette themed content or just chit chatting about makeup I'd love for you to consider subscribing before moving on and other than that let's jump into the video So when I updated this project at the halfway point of this year, I had 94 unused eyeshadow palettes still in my collection. And this meant that 54% of my eyeshadow palette collection at the halfway point of the year was going unused. Now I will say 54% at about the halfway part, like we were about halfway there. We were about halfway there. I have used an additional 37 eyeshadow palettes off of that unused palette list. And so now I am down to 57 eyeshadow palettes that are unused in my collection. However, I still have 35% of my palette collection that has gone untouched. And if you are good at math, we are three fourths of the way through the year, meaning we have about 25% of the year left, meaning we're behind. We are definitely behind. But I will say I am still like motivated and inspired because the month of September, I have been doing my eyeshadow so much. It's probably because football season has started and typically like I'll come home on Thursday nights, my daughter and I will eat dinner and then we'll sit down and watch the football game. And I will like do my eyeshadow just to like play around with eyeshadow. So I've been doing, I've been playing around with eyeshadow more and sometimes I do my makeup more than once in the day. So I am hopeful still that perhaps we could be real close to be, to having used all of my palettes before the end of the year. That being said, let's get into the 57 that are unused. So up first we have the ABH Cosmos palette. I will say I'm not too concerned about this one. I really enjoyed this palette this year and I'm actually really excited to pull this palette out specifically in the fall because there was a look I did last fall kind of with like the like darker shades in this palette and it was this really beautiful kind of purple mob toned look that I just absolutely loved. And I really do enjoy this palette. I feel like this is something I can also get away with creating work, like neutral looks that I can wear to work. So this one I think will definitely still get used. I have two Adept palettes that I have not yet used. So first up I have the Minka palette, which this palette kind of screams holiday to me because the metallics throughout this palette are kind of like that molten metallic, really punchy sort of shadow that I think of like holiday, like New Year's Eve parties type of situation. So I... We're gonna get around to using that. And then I was really surprised because I swear I have reached for my Heather Austin palette this year, but if I did, I did not track it. So this is still unused. Um, I will definitely use this before the end of the year. I'm ashamed that I have not yet used it. I'm even look like video chat right now seems to be calling my name. I feel like I could do a really fun, like fiery, warm, smoky eye for the fall this palette also just kind of screams fall to me so i'm very excited to get around to using that i'm not concerned that that one will go unused i have two alter ego palettes as well um again kind of the fall theme here so up first we have the artemis palette which i have not yet used and if i let this go without using it this fall that would be an absolute shame because everything in this palette screams fall to me i like this row of like three times four is 12. Like these 12 shades right here, oh, are just, I, I need to pull this palette out. I need to pull this palette out because earlier this year when I pulled out the Canyon palette, I remember just how much I love Alter Ego's formula. So I have that one. And then they recently sent this one to me and I haven't yet gotten around to trying it, but it is the Daylight palette, which is a dupe for the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. And I will say I don't always keep all of my Alter Ego palettes, but this one specifically, 
I just felt like I wanted to see one how close of a dupe it was and two I felt like even if some of the shades were a little bit different I personally love the I need a nude and some of these like sparkly shades just look potentially even a little bit sparklier so I wanted to keep this one to give it a try okay this one perplexes me a little bit because I swear I can remember times I've reached for this however it might have been that I traveled with this palette and I totally forgot to mark my like uses when I got back because I do mark them or I like track in a notebook so I swear I've used my artist my artist couture supreme nudes palette supreme nudes right supreme nudes <laughs> um but I guess I haven't. I love this palette. This was like a favorite palette a couple years ago. And I still really enjoy this one. Again, this would be a very work appropriate palette. So I definitely should reach for this. I feel like this is another one. Like the, the color story kind of screams fall to me. So gotta reach for that. Another fall themed palette. We have the ColourPop Lil Ray of Sunshine palette, which I haven't reached for yet this year. Beautiful palette. Definitely plan to reach for this one this fall as well. Then I have the ColourPop Cabana Club, which... I swear I reached for it because I was like, oh, maybe I'll declutter it, but let me reach for it. But then I guess maybe I didn't reach for it. So I haven't reached for this one. And I will be honest, I see myself decluttering this one when I do my end of year declutter. But we'll see. You know, my mind may change. And then I also have yet to reach for the ColourPop The Muppets palette. Now, I do love this eyeshadow palette. I think that this one is a really fun one and that really great formula that ColourPop is capable of producing. I also feel like this could be a really fun one for the holidays. This did release holiday time, so maybe I just kind of think of those two together. But I definitely plan to still reach for this one before the end of the year. I shouldn't have any issues doing so. And I'm kind of sad that I haven't reached for this one yet. All right, next up I have the Cosmic Brushes Cool Chills palette. And I also have the Cosmic Brushes Undergrowth palette also on this list. I don't physically have that palette anymore, or yet. Um, I ordered it, but it has not arrived to me, but it is on my list. So that is one I'm counting as well. But this I have yet to reach for. Now this definitely screams more winter time to me. Like the color story obviously just kind of gives me like snow fairy vibes. So I know I'm going to reach for this because I, it's also new to my collection and I want to be able to rank it at the end of the year. So I have this one. I have two still from Emsley Rain. I swear I've reached for this one time, but maybe not. The Flutter palette, I swear I have. But um, I plan to reach for this and test this one very soon. In fact, I probably would have reached for this today, but I was so excited to reach for it and I'm filming a video, actually a review that should also... That should already be up on the Bella Beauté Bar Poison Garden palette, which is on my lids today. Um, this is such a beautiful color, so I'm so excited to reach for some of these shades down here. So this one will definitely get reached for. And then this one's new to my collection, and I have yet to reach for this one as well. It is the NC Rain Strawberry Moon Eyeshadow Palette. Definitely more of like a summer-themed palette, in my opinion, as it is so colorful, but I will also still reach for this one uh, before the end of the year. I hope I can finish this one. It took me forever to finish testing the Ensley Rain Flower Moon palette just because there's so many special shades. I'm certainly not complaining, um, but there's a lot of shades in here <laughs> for me to get through. A couple more new ones to my collection that I haven't tried yet. This is embarrassing. I have the Glam White Kiss collection. I can't remember when this released, March or earlier, I feel like, and I still haven't reached for this one. I feel like the color story is just so dark that it's like holding me back, but I mean, girl, why'd we buy it if we're not going to use it? And then also I have the It's Bell Cosmetics under the Full Moon eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited for this one because I love blue eyeshadow. And this is a bunch of blues with a few golds. Like I love this color story. And I remember the swatches of this being so pretty. I also just realized there is a shade in this called August 1st, which is my daughter's birthday. Okay, girl, let's get to using this. Next, I have this little NARS suede six pan palette. Um, I just really didn't bring this traveling with me because I was traveling with my Tartlet and Bloom palette when I traveled this year. And it's just not something I think to really reach for every day, even though it is kind of like a just very utilitarian, very basic palette that would be reach, easy to reach for every day. I have not yet completed that or reached for that. Then I also have my NARS Summer Unrated eyeshadow palette, which looks like this. Really fun, really beautiful neutral palette, um, but not one that I have yet reached for this year. I also have a few from Huda. So I have the Huda Wild Obsessions palette. I did finally reach for my other two Huda Wild palettes. So the Tiger and the Python I have reached for, but the Jaguar I have not. I also swear that I reached for the Medium Nude earlier this year. Like I swear I did, right? Was I just like going too fast and like 
missed some i don't know anyway i have the nude medium and i also recluttered the nude rich into my collection and i have yet to reach for this one so i have this one as well another one from it's bell is the the flare eyeshadow palette i'm ashamed that i haven't reached for this one either just because this is such a fun complimentary palette to pair with just like other neutral palettes because there's so many fun pops of shifty shades in here so i still need to reach for that one as well as this is a new one to my collection i'm very very excited to play around with this one as well it is from fantasy cosmetica and it is the collaboration between amanda from makeup just for fun it is the enchanted autumn palette it is so so beautiful i swatched this yesterday and i was literally drooling then i have the what's up beauty desert monsoon eyeshadow palette which again i swear i reached for this this year um but if i did i didn't track it i love the what's up beauty palettes i know i'll reach for that before the end of the year i also have the menagerie killer per eyeshadow palette this one too to me kind of screams more fall like the grungy sort of like earthy tones in this just kind of are giving that more fall feeling so I feel like that one would be an easy one to reach for this fall. I've reached for all of my Danessa Myricks palettes except for the volume four, the Lightwork volume four, which looks like this, but it is Viking season and I do love to reach for this shade at Trance on Vikings game day. So, and also I swear the other day I used Divinity, you guys. Maybe the problem is me and the fact that I can't, like I don't do a good job at tracking my uses. Too Faced Italian Spritz. I should have reached for this in the spring and alas, I did not. So this one still remains untouched this year, but I really did enjoy that one last year. I also have my Sugar Pill Bite Size Palette, which is currently going in my No Pan Left Behind series. So this one should get used before the end of the year. Chocolate Martini Palette from Glam Light. Girl, what are we doing here? I have raved about this eyeshadow palette. Why do I never reach for it? Especially because this would also be another really easy one to reach for to create like work appropriate looks. I'm setting this one on my desk behind me and we're gonna we're gonna use that one. Um, the Alien Cosmetics slash Unearthly Cosmetics Not Normal palette also going in a project and I have not reached for it. I don't know what it is. I, I just cannot get myself to reach for this palette and I almost ordered the like remastered version of this the other day. Like girly you've owned this for years and was when was the last time you reached for this when was it why are we thinking of doing that all right i have the cleota cosmetics sunken treasures which i do count kind of as an eyeshadow palette i just keep it in well the palette that it came with but i ordered it as a bundle and then i have a couple other shadows from cleota in here as well then i have the glaminatrix fairy lights palette which is a really fun complimentary very metallic kind of sparkly little six pan palette that i haven't reached for but this is definitely giving kind of holiday vibes like i feel like this one will be an easy one to reach for before the end of the year i also have the melt bad side zodiac earth palette this is this is another one i should like really have an easy time reaching for in the fall and i remember really enjoying that palette melt gemini <laughs> This is another one that like in my mind, I love this palette, but also I just literally never reach for this. So I have that. I also have my Nomad Cosmetics Ghost Town palette. I actually reached for the Okavango Safari palette last week a couple times. So I anticipate I will reach for this one soon. This is another one, not even necessarily fall. Like, yes, we can do fall with this. And again, you don't have to wear your makeup for the seasons. We know this, um, but this one almost screams more winter to me. This, this should not be a problem for me to reach for. Okay, I feel like I have quite a stack of Odin's Eye and I actually did not buy the most recent Odin's Eye launch just because I feel like I have not been as impressed with Odin's Eye and I had just bought four new eyeshadow palettes and I was like, I'm so much more excited about the four that I just bought than Odin's Eye, which is crazy because I like Odin's Eye was like my first like favorite indie brand. Like I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what the reviews on this one are. I just, I don't know that I'm going to get this one, but if they were to do like a collab that I really wanted to support again, or if they had like a color story that really, really spoke to me that I felt like I didn't have, maybe, but I've just been so let down specifically by their mats that I'm just like, oh, I don't know. I don't need every launch like I used to, but I have not yet reached for the Flora Story palette this year or the Sea Talk palette. I'm like, I swear I reached for Sea Talk, but guess not. 
same with the jewels and gem eyeshadow palette however this one definitely screams kind of more cold weather winter to me so this should be an easy one to reach for before the end of the year a couple more like holiday themed palettes but i have not reached for either merry christmas or christmas eve yet this year i feel like i should pull merry christmas out early just because this one could be really fun like a, again kind of like a warm tone smoky eye i really do love this palette as a whole like this was excellent same with the Christmas Eve so that's why I'm just like a little bit disappointed in some of their more recent launches but here's Christmas Eve I also have the Kaleidos escape pod which I definitely should have reached for this one this summer because this one is definitely more of a summer vibe to me at least with all the colors I just this is something I would reach for more in the summer however there are some really approachable like metallic shades in here that I could definitely pair with you know a neutral palette so I should should still be able to reach for this one I also have the Kaleidos flower punk palette but I will say this is definitely something that I can see myself reaching for soon with the like grungier greens here and then I also really like the like dusty pinks in here I think make a really really beautiful look so that one I definitely want to like keep front of mind um, some of my Huda more midi palettes, I have the Huda Empowered palette, which I have not yet reached for. However, this is another beautiful one for the fall time. I also have Naughty Nude, which I swear I can like vividly remember reaching into this palette, but I'm going off the track uses here, so <laughs> I guess not. And then we also have Pretty Grunge, which I definitely am very excited to pull this one back out in the winter time. And I'm very excited to see what the Huda launch or the Huda palette this year is going to be. I'm very excited. I always get excited about the Huda palettes. And I have the Natasha Denona My Dream palette, which is also going in a project to No Pain Left Behind. And I haven't reached for it. Very disappointed in myself because I do really like My Dream. I also have not reached for love, which is going to look a little bit different because I've been kind of fiddling around with my Natasha midi palettes, kind of creating my own custom palettes, but I have not reached for a single shade out of the love palette. I'm also so embarrassed to say I have not yet reached for the Yuka palette because I loved this eyeshadow palette last year. Now, again, this is another one that I feel like I could have a lot of fun with in the fall time. I'm actually, I'm going to set this one beside or behind me as well. This is one I want to kind of focus on this week because I love this palette and then this summer i did not reach for the pastel palette at all now i will say the pastel was not my most favorite natasha denona palette of all times however i'm like girl we couldn't have even reached for lemoncello for an inner corner highlight like even once this summer now granted i'll do a yellow inner corner highlight no matter the time of year but um and not to say i can't reach for this palette outside of the summer but I would be most likely to reach for it in the summer so chances are not looking good that this one might be one that we don't use this year. I don't know if you'll be able to sense the theme here, but clearly my fall palettes I have not yet reached for outside of the fall season. The Druid palette from Fantasy Cosmetica is another favorite palette in my collection, especially for the fall time. I absolutely love these two like special shades. So this one will be getting used. It just hasn't happened yet. And then we can wrap it up with the five Pat McGrath palettes that I have not yet reached for. I hope I didn't miss any of the palettes. Um, I've kind of just been like grabbing as I go. I didn't have them like all laid out. It's like I will literally clean up my palettes, clean up my apartment, and then a day later I'm filming a video where I have to take out like 85 palettes. I'm like, girl, why do we do this to ourselves? Anyway, next up I have the Pat McGrath, this one. Like, are we surprised? Why did I even keep this? It's so messy to open because my shades have shattered and I've repressed. And I try to get myself to declutter this palette all the time, but I literally just can't do it. But I also don't reach for it, so... Where's the logic? Okay, I can almost swear I reached into the Interstellar Icon quad, unless I was just swatching it and like that's what I remember, but apparently I have not tracked use with that quad this year. That's another beautiful one though for winter. And then the Mothership palette. So we have, I think this is Divine Rose. Again, it really irritates me that like the name is not on the back of all, oh, this is Divine Rose. This one is. My name is not on the back of all of them. It's like you pay so much money and you literally don't even know what the name of the palette is. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a palette that I've decluttered and recluttered because I was like, we spent so much money on it. Like maybe I'll just keep the collection. But honestly, I'm just so like, I just think aside from like the, the heavy packaging, like I feel like why are we wasting our money on Pat McGrath? Like I've clearly done it, but like, why are we doing it anymore? There's get an Ensley Rain palette. And you're still paying less. Okay, then we have this one. No name, just says made in Italy on the back. 
can't remember the name. I swear I've reached for this one too. But it could have been like maybe at the very tail end of 2023 that I reached for this one. And that's what I'm remembering. But guess I haven't reached for this. And then finally, the last palette is the Hutopian Dream palette. This is what this one looks like. Very pink. I feel like I bought this because I was really excited about these two shades right here. And now I'm just like, okay, they're like literally nothing special. Like, <laughs> just like actually angers me. It actually angers me how much Pat McGrath charges. I get the packaging. I do get that that's Lux, but like, oh, I thought there was a B in my house. So there's not. Anyway, buy an indie shadow palette, palette. Buy an indie brand eyeshadow palette. In my opinion, that's just my opinion. If you love Pat, it's okay. I'll still accept you. Anyway, you guys, that is going to wrap up and conclude today's video. The 57, hopefully I shared them all, eyeshadow palettes that have sat unused throughout my collection this year. Tell me your top three palettes you think I should absolutely under no circumstances let go unused this year. Let a girl know in the comments below. Other than that, thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting me and my channel. As you guys always do, I love you guys so much, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.